All right, let's get down to business. It's Labor Day, which means time to labor. Uh, all right, so I started poking at this off camera, but I, I got a lead that it's kind of interesting. So I think I'll start with that. Um, it is, so yeah, we're still doing this kind of tile -y stuff with the um, portions of tiles and things like that. I gotta change how this looks in gizmo mode. These lines are too thick. Um, but so where we find ourselves so I made like this kind of cliff and it's like it's got like a half tile the tile is like half to the half cut off here uh, and and so that's fine I mean you can it works mostly well um, you can kind of like you know, grab onto it cool walk into it you know that's fine um, but every once in a while <clears throat> that happens um, yeah, like, huh. so that that kind of works. You have that. You just kind of warp through the wall, um, fall off, and then okay. See that time he didn't do it, but then jump. <sighs> so I was tracking this down a little bit, and uh, uh, it's it's it is actually brought about by him trying to do a, a ledge grab it just turns out that so I'll, I'll uh, I'll actually try and freeze frame it just so I have I can retrace what's going on um, I think yeah okay the breakpoints were in here So, yeah, okay, so, you know, so now it happens. So, the fr uh, the, we're frozen at this point. And so what the code's doing, it's trying to do, it's looking for a ledge grab. It's shooting out the rays in front of him and looking for anything to grab onto. It shouldn't find anything, but it does. Like, but what's here? There's nothing in front of him. Except somebody thinks there is. Uh, and it is the... Right, so we're at this point, this collision check, collision check, which is returning true when it shouldn't. Um, it's this. So we are all the way over here, and so we're doing this cast forward. And so he's ray casting, looking for a ledge in front of him to grab onto. Um, and so while he's looking for that, then the code goes into here. And this is some of the Raycast stuff. This is ugly. Um, and here's the thing that's wrong. So right now the logic says, if there is a tile at this position, then it's like, okay, you, uh, you automatically, you definitely have, um, there's definitely a ray is gonna hit something. But it's not necessarily true. Um, and really, uh, see, my thinking, it shouldn't even get in here. Because, yeah, there is a tile at this spot. It's a half tile. So we need to now take into account the fact that tiles are now, you can have portions of them. You can have them offset. Um, And then we go into the check collision, which returns true. Now that that's kind of problematic too. So either either this needs to return false because technically there is no tile at this position. I mean there is, but you're in the hollowed out portion of it, so you shouldn't be colliding with anything. Or this needs to return false, which I'm starting to think that's what needs to return false because. Because, yeah, th this is kind of like the more general, is there a tile here? This is the more specific, did you hit any of the pixels in it? 
And that's what re should return false. And it kind of burrows down into here, into here. We see that, you know, we have a tile there. And has, okay, the, the offset 16 out of 32 pixels. So that is, that's that, that is the half wall kind of thing that we're hitting here. And so what I'm, I guess what should be happening is this should be, is the position overlap with a solid part of the tile? The answer should be no, but it for some reason, yes. And it goes all the way in here. And I wish I could like reverse, like rewind. I think there are some tools with debugging that let you rewind the thread uh, and then kind of go back up and see what point and tile function thinks he's inside. This position though doesn't look right to me. Is that 2.5 in Unity world space? Uh, and that is at Is this really the chunk chunk space? No, no, it's not. No, because then it got set again here. Inside the tile space, it's at. So this isn't. This isn't. This isn't right. It's not right. He's not at position he's not at pixel one he's should be at like 16 or 15 position x1 would be he'd be all the way like at the um, he'd be over to the left a bit but he's now like halfway in the tile because the hat the tile is sliced vertically halfway so he's right at the halfway point, but x, x equals 1 would mean he's all the way at the left side. So that's wrong. So something wrong is happening. Yep, that's the chunk space position. So is this calculation wrong? But I don't think so, because we're basically doing the reverse of it over here. Uh, are we messing with the position anywhere else? Is this what it is? Um, yeah, I see, I wish we could rewind. Then I can see exactly how this unraveled. This is probably right. Where did we go wrong? Um, because by the time we're over here, yeah, okay, I mean, that's that's calculated correctly based on what was fed into it, but it's like six pixels to the top, negative four to the left, <laughs> because, yeah, negative, so 25 to the bottom, 31 to the right, 
because his position by the time he gets in here is wrong. It shouldn't be 33. He's not at x equals 33 pixels. Something is amiss. Um, but I think, so really we are, we're really like over here, All right? Yep. So it should then, Just make it out of this and see where we keep going to. So it's going to try and push him to the right. Yeah, it's not, not, not correct, but let's keep following this. So it says, yes, there was a collision. Look for the tile to the right. No, I didn't just get here because now it's it's pushing him all the way out to the right. So now the raycast will return successful. Hit true, and then the position he gets oh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so then the forward cast position. Mm. Yeah, and now this is wrong. Um, Like what I really want. Uh, I want to. I want to do that calculation again and follow it until. Because yeah, now he's over here. He went from Unity World Space 2.5 over here to six over here. So not good. Um, So we know we can catch that when we get here. Uh, let's just, let's do it again. Um, Basically, just just recreating the conditions to do this because I want to catch it under the debugger. I want to catch it in the act. <sighs> I gotta see it. I gotta look at it. <sighs> okay, so that's fine. Okay, joink. Wait a minute. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, okay, just just go here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this is all the stuff. Okay, so here, now I should be able to catch it. We were at X 2.5, and now... Yeah. So let's go in and just follow this end-to-end. -end. Uh, so this stuff, I can assume, yeah, it's happening all correctly. Uh-huh. So the tile system does have a tile there. It's that half tile. And now we go in and go, uh, do a little bit more of a specific collision check. And so here's where things might go wonky. So, okay, 2.5 world space. 
Core Flamp, which becomes 18.5 yeah, pixels in the... Wait a minute. It's in chunk space, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is relative to the bottom left of the chunk. That's fine. And yep, it's 18, 18. So like, that's what tile index it's going to look for here. Yeah, sure, I don't think that's important right now. Um, position in tile space. Here's where it might bork. No, that's right. That's correct. We're at pixel number 17. Hmm. Uh, I think I see the problem, but that's weird. Hmm. So, I mean, this is correct so far. Is that pixel 17 and a half out of 32 pixels wide? So yeah, which means he's a little bit in the wall and looking out forwards. And the raycast is going to return true because... Hmm. Because it's starting from in the wall. And according to the way this is laid out, that that's enough to make it true even though it's not it's currently not looking at anything but because it's originating from in the wall ugh, then the ray counts as a hit what it really it, it shouldn't still Yeah, okay, but yeah. So I think I know how this is going to go down. It's going to say... Check collision for solid tile. We're at pixel 17. And because that is... True. That pixel 17 is inside... So it basically triggers as, yes, you have a collision. Which is why we now get this. Uh, 49. I mean, that's... Okay. Anyway, but what should be happening... So it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, go through all the stuff and go, yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh -huh. and this is where it, it now just pushes him out. But so I, I think I just need to check an extra thing when I'm doing this ledge grabbing stuff. 
I need to make the ray casts not return true if you're casting in the same direction as... Yeah, basically, just, just come, come out of this. Uh, so it got a hit. such a weird edge case. Um, let me draw up something. Um, yeah, so I just need to draw this. Because, okay, that's the tile. Um, and so like this is where he is about now. now I don't like that I want a better brush I guess it doesn't really matter Blah. or this so like he's about here So he's in the tile, technically, which he, he technically shouldn't be because I think this is just happening before the next physics update happened. But anyway, so he's doing, he's there and then the ledge grab is looking, it's doing its, it's kind of, it's casts are going this way but hmm. yeah it's casting left So he's looking, he's looking left. So the ray casts for the grabbing the ledge are going left. But yet, and so he is grabbing onto a ledge, except it's like over here. He ends up grabbing this. Um, it's because the ray cast is being done this way, but it's, it's hitting. It's, the ray cast is like true. It's, it's detecting a collision there because he's starting in here. And then it's pushing him all the way out to there because it thinks that his velocity is is, is negative x. Yeah. yeah, that's that's what's going on. Hmm. So what to do about that? <laughs> Um, I mean, we could say, <laughs> I mean, So here's one thing that can be done, and I don't like it. I don't like it already, but I just want to make sure that I know what's going on. It's like if I'm if I'm doing a ray cast outward and I'm hitting something and being sent in the direction. Like if I'm doing a ray cast left, and then the normal that's being returned is. I can't, I 
can't check it from the normal. The normal doesn't seem suspicious. He's sending a ray with negative X, and then the normal resulting from it is a positive X, which is what you would expect when you bounce a ray off something. Um, in this case. It's just that the position that he ends up at the position that he ends up at is he, he's looking left and he ends up to the right of where he is. That's wrong. So I could just check for that, but that's not getting to the root of the problem. Um, Um, so, forward cast position, that's where he ends up with that. So if, if done right, um, so for example, like if he's looking to the left, and grabbing onto a ledge, but then told that that ledge is behind him. We need to say, D don't bother grabbing this, it's wrong. Mm. Uh, I don't like it, but I think that might that might be what I do for now. So if he's... Uh, my brain has to do things. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but basically, if you're grabbing a ledge that is to the right of you and you're facing right, or you're grabbing a ledge that's to the left of you and you're facing left, then do this. I mean, what matters is if it works, and... Okay. So he didn't teleport like that, he just did something else wrong. Yeah, right. I mean, that's wrong. That's wrong. Whee! Whee! Oh, 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 okay. Alright. Doink. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm just gonna put a comment there saying why I'm doing this. Uh, and the, the fix has to be either in how I approach the ray casting here or the collision resolution. I don't like dealing with that stuff. So Make sure the raycast returned a hit 
that in the direction. <laughs> yeah, that'll never get fixed. <laughs> I mean, maybe. That's why I put these here, because then I'll search for them all at one point and see what I need to clean up, but... I don't, uh... I don't know. I mean, I, at least I know what's going on. It's just... What I ne now need to see is why he's getting warped to the top. So it looks like that's when a result of up is being done. It's like, maybe it's that. I know it's not that. Alright, his X... His X velocities, X speed is here, and it looks like he's getting in here. Looks like this is the case that's happening. During that weird, why he's warping himself to the top. Yeah, come on, just go up here, and then glomp. Yeah. Um. So he will end up shooped to the top of the tile, which is wrong. So why? 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 Uh... It should be here. This should be the position getting hit. Definitely shooping him to the top. That is certainly the case. But why? I think this correct this calculation is not right. I think this is no longer true, but before I make wild accusations, um So this is correct. He is falling. Falling and heading right. Maybe my trigonometry needs to be tweaked. Ugh. Uh. I think? I think. Instead of zero, I need to say offset x. Because previously this was... Um, previously the way that this calculation worked was... You have a tile A and... So in this case, speed, you're going to the right and you're falling. So this would check. It would check either of these cases. Um, or, you know, like something like this. And say that your, your previous position was here. And so, no, I wanted that to be red. It's gotta be red. Okay. Okay. What it does is it, it wants to find this. And it uses you're that thing. It's 
so we can see some trigonometry happening. So you see you have like right triangles and whatnot. And this is the result of the calculation of this tan. It wants to find the point on the edge of the tile, like where you will be resolved and put after your after the collision is done. It's like you're in here, but you need to be resolved. And then it's going to put you here in this case, if you came from here. Like if you came from up here, the calculation will just put you on the surface here. So that's why like collision resolution would be up here or left, left side of the tile or up side of the tile but the situation's a little different um, I think it's a little different in what now that now that the tile is essentially um, yeah no I need black again My, okay, I just wanted to like color it. Yeah, all right. So that's a solid tile, but now we have the business of this half tile here. Let's, let's call that half. So the calculation now needs to take into account this. doing this. I think I already know what's going on. So it's quite a bit different, actually. I mean, if we were using... If I got that wrong, it's like we're going from you're going to either here or we're going to They would return very different results. I mean, if 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 it was returning 0 x0, it's going to look like this line is longer. So it's going to put you out and resolve you over here. But actually, it's shorter than this if you take into account the offset, so you should get sent up here. And I, and I think that's what that zero... I think the zero here is 0x, and this is 32, 32, 0. So I think that's... I mean, yeah, this is 0. If I'm right about that. Yeah. Oh, I, th I think that's it. Because if we look at what is actually going on, this is just what these used to be before I changed them into this. And who knew, just adding two variables to this class just like upheaves everything about the logic and I didn't even get into the different types of tiles this is still just squares when we get into like the curves oh, oh, oh. I mean, yeah, it may not it might not actually be that bad but all right let me finish this yeah find from which side the ray penetrated so that, that's pretty much what I'm doing find out which side it went through from the current position 
right, ray to the surface of the tile. Yeah. Find the angle between the two rays. Using that angle, calculate the actual length of the hypotenuse. Yeah, which is, which, yeah, because that's what I'm solving for, is this distance. But I was just making these hard assumptions that you're going, like, this is, like, this is where the border of the tile is. Um, when, in fact, it is not. Uh, so, yeah, that, hopefully fixing this will fix this, because he should not be doing that. <laughs> just blindly apply the offset here. Oh, no, no, I can't. Because if the offset is, if the offset is negative, that's good. But if the offset is positive, like, then it's getting chopped away from the left. So pretty much, I hate to be so explicit like this, but right border, or I guess just to be consistent with what top border equals. If we say offset Y, that's dragging it down, adjusting where the top border is. Uh, just to check myself. Right, if I go blap, and then I say that your offset is negative 10. Yeah, that's dragging it down. So the top border is now pixel at 32, minus 10. These UI elements are not correct. They're only showing one character. That's that. That's that's minor. Uh, yep. Left border. Minus offset X. It's bigger than zero. Oops. Okay. The left border. Oh, no, 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 no. It would be zero, but then. It changes if offset X is positive. Right? Blop, and then your say your offset is nine. Yeah. So now the left border would be basically the offset x value. I don't need that zero plus there, but just to be super consistent. Um, bottom border. There. 
So. What it's really doing is checking against the right border. Instead of pixel width, instead of assuming that the, the border is 32 pixels, if it's offset at all, then it is no longer 32. If it's offset in the uh, in this direction, so yeah, if you exceed the right border, then your resolution is you are now pushed off to the right. looking for here right or no collision if you have zero x speed and you're underneath or you're over it okay That's what making a couple of assumptions here. Ooh. I hate tinkering with this code. It can just it can make everything explode. But we have to be courageous. Alright, nothing exploded yet. I can jump. Okay, that didn't explode. We we grabbed. Good. <laughs> we uh we, we didn't <laughs> Doink. Doink. <laughs> Woohoo! Things work. <laughs> Things don't work. They almost work. Like, what was that? What was that? You, you almost did it. What, what was that? Yeah, all right. <laughs> There's a weird edge case afoot. Do I want to find it right now? Yeah, that's another glitch. You can kind of just hold into the wall and just kind of like I gotta uh, yeah, that's a thing but that that's that has always been there they're kind of dragging yourself down the wall I want to try and find the yeah, like why did why did he blorp like that also why that something's weird with the animation controller Um, alright, well, there are some bugs, but it's, it's a lot better right now. Um, next thing I want to do, let's just build a little bit more over here.
And I want to say here. Uh, no. Yeah. Make this floor a little bit like that. What happens? What happens when you walk over this? Gunk! Okay, he can't get out of it by walking, but he got into it, he just fell. He's like, I'm running, I'm running. He didn't fall, I mean, so to speak. He... He just teleported down. So also, a thing we don't want. And if I look in my log, which I've been ignoring, does anything appear as far as collision? No, so it didn't even register as him leaving the ground, because otherwise you would get that notification. Delete. And if you fall off of this, okay. So if you fall off of a, if you fall off of a half step or like a partial of an offset tile, you do properly fall off. But if you fall onto one, you just snap to it. That's also weird. That's also weird. Wow, let's find out why. Um, let's find out why. Oh, I, th I think I know why. I think I had a dream about this because I've seen this before. When I was playing around last time, maybe in, in the previous stream, I think I saw it and then just, I was like, I can't deal with this right now. But but then I think falling asleep one day, I think, uh, I think I thought about this and thought that it, the problem would be in the here. Uh, no, not in this class. It would be in my, my knockoff rigid body class just not even really a rigid body it's just like point to tile collision because <laughs> uh... what's happening so he's grounded guide the body along the floor detective it fell off it's not properly detecting if he fell off although it does sometimes Check against the floor. We're grounded. So like this is happening. This is happening as we're walking along the walking along tiles. I think it's this. It's doing a, a, a cast that is half of a half of a tile, basically. And then if it does see the floor, it'll just snap you to that. So... But as it turns out... You know, like, that's the distance of... So basically, the ray... Every frame he's shooting a ray downwards to see if he's still colliding with the ground. Um... And that ray is just long enough to think that you're still on, on ground, even when you'd make this kind of a gap like this. So, I mean, for example, if I were to say that now the offset is... Yeah, I, I know, that's weird. What happened here? Uh, forget that. Okay, because we're here now. Like, I bet... I bet if I make this... Oh, yeah. A little shorter? No. Still didn't do it. Mm, 
there goes my theory on that. Make it shorter. No. <sighs> I thought, I, I thought that. I thought it was that. Yeah, it's even starting the ray from a little bit above him. But basically, this is returning true when it should return not true. Um, we're getting in here, and then it's snapping his Y position And there's just, there's not a whole lot of feel like I can do about that. I can shorten this, but is that wise? Like, I might want to make this variable to kind of see, like, what if you do want the character to, like, just snap down a little bit, you know, it, it, to, to kind of simulate he's walking downstairs. You don't fall down each stair, you kind of step onto each one. So sometimes you would want... You would want to kind of just readjust your position like that. Oh my G! That did it! It was. Glorp, glorp, yeah, it was that. My dream premonition was right. Yeah, so now I can kind of just floop, floop. Uh, huh? Can you do that again? No, you can't. Of course you can't. <laughs> I don't know if I was. Yeah, there, there. There it is. How do I repro that? Okay, I, I uh, okay. And this is a not offset tile, so that's something that happens. That's something that just happens. All right. <laughs> yeah, and then this happens. That's no good. But nothing, nothing weird in the log. Tile collision, and then the normal zero one, correct? Because it's just upward facing normal. It's very normal, normal. So nothing unusual about that. But then like that. You just got like popped up in the air. Almost as if the collision resolution was up instead of. Oh, it went too far up. Yeah, look, look at that. Not good. And that's a separate thing. I already know about that. clean log for when I do this. I think I have to be holding the le the right key. Now 
no. No, it's if I'm if I'm moving if I'm moving right and I'm not holding the right key. Yeah, but not quite that either. Something weird about the If you're going slow enough it doesn't happen. If you're going fast enough it doesn't happen. It has yet to happen if I've just been speeding along. It's just... oh man. Now I can't get it to happen. I guess it's fixed. <coughs> this is from... yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got pushed upwards. Like, way upwards. And then... How do I unpack that? <laughs> this was from something. I don't even know if this is still relevant. But basically, if you... Well, let me see if it even still happens. Maybe it doesn't happen now. It used to be that his Y position was like f jittering a whole lot. It does not do that now. So maybe, maybe that's, anyway. Huh. <sighs> Gonna clean this up a bit, but it's definitely happening when the resolution is up. The problem is, it's whenever you're just walking along the ground, resolution is up. Collision resolution is up to push you up above the ground. So it's like I can't just check for that happening. Oh. It might be this. Stuff I was finagling with before. This might not be right. But it was happening even on tiles that didn't have offsets, so I don't think this is quite the culprit. Still, um, this this doesn't match my what I'm setting everything else to. I'll just kind of say, uh, <laughs> which should be whenever I say up, I want that. That's that's where your position, your Y position, is supposed to be. That's what it was last time I did it. Now we don't have X? What was X anyway? Oh, that. Maybe, maybe it was the, that. Because there's an up. Where else am I setting collision resolution to up? It's happening there, it's happening there, it's happening here, and okay. It might have been that. Just had some 
debunk logic from when I was working on this before. Oh yeah, that is the short hop. It's like if I just, just like in Smash Bros, I have a hard time doing a short hop. I have a hard time doing it in my own game too. I have to like make it a little more lenient. So, so, okay. Yeah, no, it still happens. I'm just getting a weird, wonky. I think it's if I'm. It's some kind of weird physics erase condition, and I feel like it's very scary to fix. Alright, well, things look a little better. Um, Did I have semi-solid checked? No. I don't even want that in the level right now. That I'm not not dealing with those guys right now. <laughs> okay. I just I need a little more room to experiment with things. I'd get that right by now. So pretty much that's a tile. And that is offset a little bit from other tiles. Oh my goodness, it like works. <laughs> it works as just as though it was a regular tile. This is a little wonky. <laughs> hmm. He just falls without going into the falling animation. Is it because his X speed was so low that he just... No. Okay, that time it worked. He's a little bit not correct at this one, but I'm not that broken up about it. Oh, he didn't grab, didn't grab, wah, 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 okay. Eh. No, you, you gotta be able to grab that. Grabbed it from there. Oh, all right, that's fine. I don't know. It needs to be consistent, and it wasn't. Cool.
<laughs> yeah. Mm. Kind of strange. Cool. I'll like it. I don't like that. Like, why does it sometimes not work? What gives? Oh, is it because he has that timer of, like, when's the next time you can ledge grab? <laughs> I think I added that as a timer. No. No. Because he, he just never grabs if he falls from here. Because he kind of goes through it. be problematic but all right I mean so things we're kind of we're kind of we're kind of getting a bit cooler now with this I mean there's there's a little bit of wonkiness with the ledge grabbing um, but Here's what the atlas looks like. We're only using up a, a small amount of it. There's a lot of emptiness. I gotta somehow get better at like, when I create a new tile, fill in this emptiness. Don't just, it's just going, it's just gonna add it to the end of the, and then I think if I fill up the atlas, then it looks for open spots. But it should just, it should look for open spots anyway, but. Uh, Oh yeah, this is a new chunk. That's, that's the difference in... A new chunk would then be... Over here. That's a new chunk. But... <laughs> it's so hard to... Yeah. All right, um, I'm not going to worry that much about the ledge grabbing right now. Um, I think next time I'm going to get started with... With, like, some of the other types of tiles. So this has just been an exercise in doing the... Let me just add that just in case. in doing just squares, but I, I want, I obviously want a lot more than just squares. I guess I do that. And then I do that. Oh yeah, I can't quite do that. But that's okay. I don't need that level of control. I think I'd be happy with just... Uh, what was I... Yeah, yeah, all right. I mean, let's just try that. So does this work? <laughs> it does not and that's that's where I start with next time is solving the mystery of uh, that
Yeah, well. All right. I think this is a good place to end it. So this is what I'm going to work on next, either on camera or or next time you see me, I'll have this fixed. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to end it here before we get too dizzy.